Hi everyone, welcome back to Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into the VeChain tokens daily update. If you're enjoying this daily content, make sure to go and subscribe, hit that bell notification. And if you're interested, I've got a Discord group and a Twitter, and I'll make sure to leave both links in the description. This is the VeChain token on a daily time frame, and you can see that on this stock chart aside, this is the first thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you, that we have actually seen that curve. And I did um, say for a very long time, for around uh, the past uh, 14 days, I have been saying that if you have been seeing this curve in the stock chart RSI on this um, particular level, do um, potentially be looking into getting into VeChain. And you can see that this is exactly what happened. We did see that nice curve. This is something where we'd been um, actually seeing these curves every time we had seen a breakout in the past. You can see that when we broke out from this wave four that you had seen that curve on the stock chart RSI as well. When you had seen um, on the, the previous data from that, you can see here in uh, the 27th of June, the exact same thing happened. And I can just continue to share it with you. Um, you can just see that this is clearly a pattern. And basically we had actually been anticipating this. So well done to anyone who did spot that and actually did uh, put in that, tra that trade for VeChain. I do still think that there's a lot of opportunity to be buying the asset right now as um, this uh, curve is actually still occurring and I do think that we are going to be going on for more continuation. Now that's um, a macro picture as we are on the daily time frame. You can see that we do have a lot of room to grow with this stock RSI still. The stock RSI is on that 65 level and you can see that previously we have been coming to around that 82 region and uh, even as high as that 87 level as well in April time. So basically we do have a lot of room to grow still if the volume is to increase. You can see that this volume had been on an increase ever since the 28th of August. So basically there's been a lot of buying pressure and that's why we did break out from that 20 in May. You can see that we did see a back test of that 20 in May yesterday. This is when we went on to continue towards that 13.6 cent region. That was where we did find a resistance um, around uh, the 23rd of August and the 24th. And we also did find it um, a resistance there on the 19th of August. And then the next uh, resistance past that level. If you were to actually back test it with a daily close, which you can see is exactly what happened, um, is actually this 14.6 cent region. So we are finding a bit of resistance on this 14.6 cent at the minute, which was definitely to be expected. As you can see in the previous uh, data from this price territory, that we had actually seen a wick here, which was bought down and that's when we saw that rollover all the way towards that 11.5 cent region so this time we are uh, looking to see this um this uh, daily candle actually close above if we do see a daily close above that region we will actually be long in this trade all the way to around that 15.4 cent the reason for this is because when you are looking at the previous data, this is where we did find a resistance all the way back at the start of June. And then if we were to break that, the next target's at 16.2 cent. You can see that this again is where in this uh, price level, you can see on the 18th and the 19th of May, this is where we're finding the resistance when we failed to back test that region. And then we will be looking towards that 0.146 which is at 17.4 um, cent level. So this is basically the process that we're going towards this 17.4 uh, cent. You can see that if you were to see daily candles closing above that, that you would be going towards this 17.7, then you'd be going towards that 19.2 cent region, then you've got that 21 cent, the 23, and then that's when you're getting towards that all time high. So basically that's um, the process that we're looking for right now for VeChain. We are definitely looking really good. We're just looking to see where, where this um, daily candle is actually gonna close. And if I do just get into this four hourly time frame, you can see that these are all green candles, uh, what we've been seeing closing recently. So we are actually looking to see this candle here actually close above the 14.6 cent region. If you do see a back test, if I just um, zoom out here, I do think that we will be going towards that 15.4 cent. So that's going to be a really nice trade if um, we were to see that close above. And I'm just going to um, measure that for everyone. And you can see that that's around a 5.5% trade. Again, if you were to back test that region and go on for continuation, that's when you're going to be going on to that 16.2 cent, another 6% away. And then from there, if you were to close above, you're going to be going towards that um, 0.146 level, that 6.21%. Um, that uh, so that's actually a really nice trade there. And it's going to be some nice opportunities. Just make sure to have a look at that. the fact that we are overextended on this 4 hourly on the stotch. We're really heavily overextended there. And you can see that we are overextended on that 75 level on that um, on that normal RSI. And this is definitely a level where we do usually um, kind of retrace from. So we could potentially be seeing a little bit of a test of this um 13.6 cent region as a support level before we do on, before we do go on for more continuation but right now we are looking really good on um this uh micro on this uh, micro uh, picture 
So definitely, I do think that there is uh, some potential to be buying VeChain right now. If you do actually have a look at um, if we do close above this 14.6 cent region. So that's today's daily update for the VeChain token. I hope that this brought some value to everyone. I do think that we are looking at a really healthy coin, and you can see that on that Stotch RSI when we did see that curve, that we did have that indication to purchase. So um, I'm sure that a lot of viewers would have actually been up right now. So well done if you are up, and let me know if you did make that trade in the comments. And thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate everyone's support. VeChain's looking really good and bullish, so definitely do have a look at it um, for a long-term investment. This isn't financial advice, it's just my opinion, and I'm very convicted in VeChain as a project. So thank you for watching this video, make sure to go and subscribe, hit that bell notification. If you're interested, I've got a Discord group and a Twitter, I'll leave both links in the description, and make sure to go and have a great day.